It is really amazing how much ecosystems can change during the year. In the depth of winter, like now, there are very little signs of life. In places like Canada, organisms must cope with dramatic seasonal changes every year. Lakes freeze, trees lose their leaves, snow covers the ground. It gets so cold, living tissue can freeze in minutes. These are all conditions that every species of plant and animal must deal with in most Canadian ecosystems. Species are often adapted to seasonal change and populations can usually overcome minor changes in a healthy ecosystem. If there is a population of healthy producers and a good availability of required abiotic factors like clean air, clean water, the ecosystem will be able to support healthy and thriving populations. However, if the change is more drastic or irregular, an ecosystem can quickly become threatened. The introduction of an invasive species population, a severe weather event, a deadly disease, or climate change can put intense pressure on organisms. Entire populations may not be able to cope and may die out altogether. When large numbers or entire populations of organisms disappear, the balance of the ecosystem can become threatened to the point of entire collapse. Now, on top of those challenges, species have to deal with competition. Ecosystem competition exists for food, water, living space, and mates. Intra-species competition occurs when members of the same species compete for resources. For instance, the fastest brook trout might get the most minnows, or the strongest grizzly might get uh, the most salmon or the highest growing tree might get the most sunlight. Inter-species competition occurs between two or more species competing for the same resource. Uh, think about all the different types of fish in a lake. Uh, they often compete to catch the same food. In a healthy ecosystem, each species will hopefully find their own place and manner of getting food. Competition and ecosystem change can really affect delicate balances, such as some predator-prey relationships. Uh, take, for example, the Canada lynx. It depends almost completely on the snowshoe hare for its food supply. Now, imagine something going wrong with the snowshoe hare population that uh, killed most of the hares in a large area, for instance, a disease. What do you think would happen to the lynx population? Sometimes drastic changes in ecosystems cause complete collapses of a population of a certain species, and as a result, the ecosystem is never the same. Does the ecosystem where you live change a great deal over the year? Uh, does a species uh, compete in your local ecosystem? If so, pay attention to the numbers of insects and animals from one season to the next. You might be surprised how much they change.